Good morning, everyone. It's morning somewhere. Hope you all are doing well today and welcome back to the virtual weekend of the National Institute for Directing and Ensemble Creation. Uh, it is my pleasure to welcome you this morning to our first session of today, Morning Movement with Dora Arreola. My name is Andrea Asaf, and I'm the Artistic Director of Art to Action, and I, it's my pleasure to welcome you here to the Artist Enclave Studio of Art to Action in Tampa, Florida, which is the land of the Seminole people. Um, this morning, uh, on behalf of Art to Action and Pangea World Theater, it is um, my uh, pleasure and honor to invite you to get ready to move for this session with Dora Arreola. You will need um, something to write on and write with and uh, a, a mat if you have one, some comfortable clothes to move in and uh, some space around you to move. Um, it's really wonderful to introduce you to Dora if you don't already know her. Uh, we'll learn a little bit about Dora. She is the artistic director of uh, Mujeres en Ritual Danza Teatro based in Tijuana, Mexico. She is also a founding artist collective member of Art to Action and a current board member. And she's a core faculty member of the National Institute for Directing and Ensemble Creation co-presented by Art to Action and Pangea World Theater. As well, here in Tampa, Florida, she is Associate Professor of Theater and Dance at the University of South Florida, USF Tampa campus. So I hope you enjoy today's session and please welcome Dora Arreola. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Pangea, and Art to Action for the invitation. It's an honor to be here today. And um, thank you for the introduction. So we will go immediately to the work. Um, so I would like to invite everybody to just to create some heat on your hands, just to uh, imagine that we are um, just changing the energy of the body. So we are going to uh, Give a massage. So we started with the left shoulder, just tap, 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 tap. Going to the end of the arm, to the hands, under, just to move um, the blood. So going to the legs, if you're able, changing to the other um, side. Massage the legs. Just tap, 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 tap. It's a kind of um, sign of waking up or massaging it, love to your body, right? So we're going to the left, uh, right shoulder, chest, some sound. Great. So um, if you're still sitting, it's fine. If you are already standing up, that's great too. We are going to start this moving session with readings. Right? So we are going to imagine that actually, it's not imagination, it's, it's real, that when we breathe, the lungs and uh, ribs and this area of the body, the thoracic area, it moves to um, all the directions, right? This is, this is dimensional. So we are going to inhale in eight seconds, and we're going to imagine that we are moving lungs and ribs and thoracic area to all the directions. That is the first movement. Right? So we are going to start with the first movement of the body that is inhale and exhale. So we inhale in eight seconds, inhale, you can place your hands on your belly. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we are going to also with the hands to create the movement of the of the lungs. So it will be then inhale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pause one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. So now we are going to um, use the eight seconds readings. It's a texture that goes into the body. And we are going to open up as much as we can the body with the eight seconds with air inhaling. Again, in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Change and exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stay two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And ex breathe in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale. Exhale. Great. So that's the beginning of all the class. So through the whole class, we are using inhale, exhale, all the time is a texture, right? Is a feeling the texture and also the breathing and the exhaling is the movement, okay? So we're going to start with the, um, actually is a very simple um, routine again about movement. So we are going to generate again heat, try to hold my, going to do this. Before going into the exercises, I want that you imagine now that actually um, you are cleaning or washing your body. So go ahead and just um, wrap your body up like you are cleaning it. Imagine that you have water, I guess. So using these movements, you know, release some tensions. Yes. Don't freely. Shake, shake, shake your body, shake the hands, shake the back, jump a little bit. Inhale, exhale, hands to the stomach. I will go a little bit back and I will try to project a little bit more. So feet, it should be in this case, parallel. So we are creating a strong parallel. So they are in a line with the knees and knees in a line with the hip, hip and a line with the shoulders. We're going to bring the shoulders up, inhale, exhale down. Again, tension to inhale, exhale down. Two more in, exhale, last time, breathe in, exhale. Hands to the floor, so open up the fingers, Touch the floor, connect with the earth. Bend your knees if you need it. Hands to your ankles. Hands to your knees. Open up the chest and look forward. Open up the chest. Look at the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale. Cool the body tucking in, the chin and the hip. Inhale again. In. Two, four, five, six. Seven, eight, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, stay four, one, two, three, four, inhale, again. Exhale. Last time here, in. Make a cool with your spine as if you want to catch water. Look at the ceiling. And exhale, tugging in your chest, your uh, coccyx, the large machine, and back to normal. Next area, the, she, the knees. So go ahead and give um, circles to the knees so you can massage knees, but also feet. So we're doing um, around eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In and out. One, two, three, 
four, five. Give massage to other side. One. So lost to your knees. Massage it. And hands to the hips. Small circles to the right. One. Remember to breathe. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. One. Two. Other side. One. Remember to breathe. Great. Hands to the shoulders. It's a little bit of um, kind of hard movement here. Massage the shoulders. Shoulders, blades in and out. Other side. Keep breathing. Relax. Relax the knees. Relax the arms. Breathe up. Exhale. Again. So we breathe up. And exhale to the side. We change directions. We are going to open the hands side to side. Bend the knees. Breathe. Exhale. Change the arms and the hands. Bend the knees. Look forward. This is not the, the exercise to relax the, knee, the head yet. It is to look at your eyes, I would say. So I'm sure to you. So observe if you're able. So you can see, I'm moving my hands. Each time that I go down, my hands go forward. And each time that I go up, my hands are side to side, looking to the sides. Again, three more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Exhale. And then we stop up. Turn the hands up loud, drop right arm, and the right side of the body is fully released. Push your hips if you're able. Make a curl with your spine and the arm, pull in. Exhale, return to center. Other arm up. Grow taller than you are. Drop left arm. Push the hip in. Back center, all the arm. Both arms are, arms are pulling up. Hips forward, relax the head in your elbow. One, two, three, four, and back. Two, three, four, up loud. And from this up loud, we're going to um, create and body a five point start position. You can see the whole picture. So I'm going to inhale to grow, exhale to ground. Take me for this position, I call it grounded position, earth, soil, rock, goddess. Inhale, five points. Exhale. Open a little bit more, chest to the sky. Four and back to ground, goddess, earth, rock position. Last time to five points. Open up the chest. Exhale to ground, to earth. Arms slowly going down to the floor. Okay, and uh, one hand is going up. Slowly up. And we are going to start movement, movement with metaphor. Right? So again, from this position here, that is the five point start. Going to grounding. Going to floor. And we are going to pick an imaginary bird, little bird. 
We are going to move the bird to the right, starting with the kick. We are going to expose the little bird, maybe it's her, to the sun. Back to center, stay low as much as you can. Inhale, change to the other side. Exhale, go farther, can be both arms or one. Change to center, stay low. To the floor, one, two, three. After here, we are going to paint the wall, imaginary wall, with the hands. Like we're painting the wall. So we move the hands and fingers freely up and down. Great. Four more, one, two. Or is that the air, right? Like the wind. Last time, we stop up loud. Left hand become scoop. So we're going to scoop the ground. One, up loud. Left, two, three, four. Open up five times again. So we know it, now do it. Same thing. Bird, um, the bird, the painting, and the scoop. Five times that one, two, three, four. And grounding one, two, three, four. Inhale one, three, four to the bird. One, two, three, four. And pick up the bird. Three, four to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. More in depth, eight seconds, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Deep one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Change and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Floor one, two, three, four. Pain one. Two, three, and four. Breathe, remember to breathe. Stop, scoop. One, two. The hands become the scoop. Three, four. Five, four, again. Okay. One, two, three, four. Grounding, one, two, three, four. Again, two, three, four. Grounding, one, two, three, four. Relax for a moment, right? So we need the bird utilizing the imagination of a bird, moving a bird with your hands. The next part will be moving fire with the arms with the hands. So we are going to go to the floor, grab fire, and moving in eight seconds to the right, push it with energy, change it to the other side, etc. It's fire now. So we are going to look at how the body responds, how the body embody elements, objects, imaginary. Oh, it's not, it's not the class about that, but I, wa I want to use metaphor and symbolism and actually ideographies also for these movements. So we are going to start with the five points, going to the fire now. One, two, three, four, and two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, fire, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, push, one, energy, three, four, five, six, seven, chain, fire, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, chain, other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, push, one, two, Three, a little harder here with the hands, pushing with energy. And change one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, one, two, 
three, four, and paint. One, inhale, two, three, and four. We stop up here. Left hand scoop. One, two, three, four. Jump to the center of your mat or to the center of the place that you are. Hands, right hands up to the sky. Inhale. Bend your hands. Pull from the shoulder and elbow. Relax the elbows, relax the arms, relax the head. Slowly going down, vertebra at a time. Oh, once you are right here, let it go, put it out. Allow yourself to make a sound here. Relax the head. Oh. So go ahead and add yes, yes with the head. And no, no, no with the head. If you need to bend the knees, go ahead and bend the knees. Inhale. Exhale. Grab um, your arms or let them go back. Move the arms side to side, like breeze moving them, like the breeze of the ocean is moving them side to side. Ah. Let it go the tension of the shoulders. Swing your arms side to side. Allow gravity works for you. Relax the neck. Relax the shoulders. Touch the floor and sit on a comfortable position. So you're comfortable. You are not, um, it's not difficult for you to sit in this position that you find right with body. You can support with anything, pillows or bricks. Bring elbow arms up to the sky. Inhale. Left hand on top of the right knee. Right arm becomes second spine and deep breathe and go taller here. Like you want to levitate or to elevate. Inhale, exhale to twist to the right. Breathe to grow. Exhale to twist to the right. Inhale to grow. Exhale, right arm up and exhale, bend to the side. Breathe here, remember. Inhale. And return the arm. Exhale. Wonderful. Center. Other side. Inhale. Both arms up to the sky. Grow taller than you are. You're maintaining almost. Right hand on top of the left knee. Left arm becomes second spine. We grow taller here first. Inhale. Grow. Exhale. Twist. Inhale. Grow. Exhale. Twist. Left arm to the ceiling and side bend to the right. Breathe there, inhale, exhale, return. And both legs then, um, if you're able, it's an inverted bow position. Inhale, exhale, and if you're able, you can touch the front head, but if not, that is fine too. And immediately go ahead, um, I will say four legs, let's start it by that. This is the table, right? Four legs table. Inhale. Exhale. Cool the spine. Inhale. Open up the chest. Look up the ceiling. Again, cool the spine. And relax for a child pose. Let it go the tensions of your head, your neck. Slowly return to the center of the body, and automatically you will be in this position. I call it hero, noble, anyway. It's a very comfy. I'll grab your arms, open up your chest, inhale. Exhale, touch the floor with your head. You can lift your hip if you, if you can. And back to center. Awesome, right? 
So we are going to again to um, hands to the floor for four legs. Inhale. So we prepare you for a facing down dog for a moment. Exhale. Cool. Inhale again just to fix the spine. Feel your feet and bring your hip up for a facing down dog. Inhale. Exhale. Side. <sighs> Walk or jump. How you want it, you can bring your hands back, or you can um, walk forward, or you can jump as you wish. Have fun with that to return to center. Hands side to side. We inhale and slowly fly up like birds flying to the sky. Like an eagle flying to the sky. We take the time for this eagle. Lifting, hips forward, relax the head, open up the chest, and forward and back, open up, and we're closing here this session. But this is one session, and the continuation, the continue is a continue breathing, continue using metaphors for the movement, and continue using ideographies, elements of the nature. It can be wind. It can be um, water, it can be fire. Right. So um, I'm going to change a little bit to go a little further with the idea of symbolism, metaphor, iconography, or ideographies with the body because that's my area of interest. So again, we are going to start with this idea of that movement is about, I mean, acting, sorry, acting is about transformation. And when I say transformation, I'm talking about not only um, the process and creativity that we end up from zero to a show, from zero to a change in the community. It's exactly where I'm going. I'm going that this transformation that I start here, that I start with creating an object and transforming it and send it and take it, this taking and this giving is balance. So that in between this is transformation and is transformation of, of, of our communities. When we are working here, like we are doing a key in some certain way with your eye. We are dealing with fire, with water, with um, heat, with everything. We are thinking about transformation. So that is the point. So we are going to start doing a routine of movement, thinking about transformation. So we started with the idea again to um, create a hip. And if you were with me in a room, right, I will say that um, right hand is going to give, let's put it like that. So give, and, and uh, left hand, it will, um, it will take, Right? So one hand is, is um, what is this giving? I will change. I, I will be right. Right, you will take. Right take, left will give. Right? So we, we open the hands for now like that, like if we are carrying two grapefruits. Right? So we will move the hand to the, to the center and we are going to grab something here. We are going to touch something here, but, and then with the left, we are going to give, wah, voila. Take, give, take, take, give, take, and I take, take, and I give. Let's repeat this movement. So right, take, to left, Espíritu del agua, espíritu burlo. Espíritu del agua, espíritu burlo. Espíritu del agua, espíritu burlo. And we can start to cash and give several things, like infinite things. Water transforming into flowers. We cash in the air, transforming into a ball, etc. So right again. One, two, three, four. Espíritu.
Espíritu del agua, Espíritu burro. Espíritu del agua, Espíritu burro. Espíritu del agua, Espíritu burro. So I will move immediately from what we already been creating around us, all the connections, and we are going to continue, but a little bit more into um, kind of a game, our own movements and imagination. So imagine that through any size, I will pick this size of, the, of me, or I can pick this any size, you will cash or receive any object. For example, somebody sent me this object here. I write to me in my hands and I transform it. So I transform it the object. And something else comes from the first object that was sent it, and then I give it. I just stay with it. Immediately after that, boom, boom, I have another object. I have another object, and immediately I will start to transform it, transform it, change it, and give it. So that's my second. So I will do that, right? That's a structure. Okay, so I will go and do it, right? almost in silence, but it's for you to explore that idea of receiving, transforming, and giving. Receiving, transforming, giving, sending, right? So that will be in a row three times. So we will be ended with six objects. Oh, oh what you can receive, it can be from from objects like rocks, flowers, fish, through uh, wind to a to a um, an idea, change you can receive change on your hands. You transform it. Uh, history it can be as big or as a, as a general or as specific as you want to go. It can be from a mountain to a feather. It's your own stuff. Is your own game. So we're going to start doing it. I will do it slowly, but be, feel free to, you know, to not see me in this moment. But things that you need to come up with six moments of receiving, I mean, six, six things, six objects. For example, um, I will show, actually, I can show it to you my six movements in this moment. Um,
those were by six movements. Okay, so in, ter in terms of in terms of time, is for you to do it. I will do it again, but you do it on your own. It will take us one minute to do it. All right. So let's start it by. I will say, get ready to receive. Breathe to be available. Exhale to open up. And go for the first one. Transform. Send it. Catch the second one. Transform it. Send it. Catch the third one. Transform it. Send it. All right. Good. So um, that is the, the idea of these objects coming and being transformed and being given away. So between this um, little structure of take it, transform it, send it, you will create a body sculpture. So you will end it with three body sculptures. That body sculpture for today, please do not fix it. It's, it's an improvisation. But what I want that you fixed this time is your six objects. Fix it, memorize it for I mean for for process. And I will take a, I will take the advantage of this moment to be with you here to tell you that do not um, judge the objects or the the things that arrive in this moment. Welcome them. Do not judge them. They will be transformed even if you not agree with what you're getting. You can get you know like. Un olote is like the part that is a, is a corn without the grains. And I will not, ah, no, I don't want this el olote. No, I take it. I transform it. And I transform it in anything that I want to transform it and send it. I don't judge. In this part of the exercise, I'm not judging anything. Later, I will select things, right? So six objects, you need to come up. Six objects and three sculptures. I, sh I, I will start. Um, kind of doing the, the movement for us to know the timing of the exercise. Places, breathe, exhale to open, inhale to be available, exhale to receive, inhale to transform, exhale to give. First thing, this object is coming. Transform sculpture, eight seconds. Come out of the sculpture, continue and finish the exercise. One, two, kind of in the middle of your transformation, find a place to stop, to freeze. A second, continue the, the story.
create a new object and send it. Third. Freeze for a moment. Continue and freeze. Transform. That's the three if I if I'm okay, and I think that is the three. Okay. So the next part of this movement work that we're doing is to to actually to grab a paper. It's not that we are going to write a poem, not at all. I, I don't have time. But what you will write is um, the sequence of your object. My first object was rock, and I, I uh, transformed it into bird. My second object that I took was flowers, and I transformed it. Oh, it's in the other way. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, is fish. The other object was hat, um, and I transformed it into a basket. Um, so those are my objects. So, so in this way, I would like to invite you to write down the six, six objects. Don't worry about the sculpture, it's improvisation. The body status, it can be there all the time. But what is more important for us today is this object. So once you have it, I will give you 30 seconds. It's very easy. Grab your pen, your paper, and any things to write on, and list it. One come in, you take it, transform it, and fly. Don't judge. You're OK with those things you can handle. We are working together, and we are supporting um, this process. Right. Once I get my list, right, then I say, okay, I have my objects that appear today, and I created. But I say, but I am working um, on emigration and los desaparecidos de Ayosinapa the disappeared teenagers of Ayosinapan, indigenous. So I'm working on that. It's a project that I'm developing. So, um, so I get uh, my stuff and I say, okay, I want to put, if I'm working in, in migration, and um, I want to put, ah, más o menos. Um, Okay, so I, I show you already this. And that's the idea of, of enlisting for this moment. Since I am working on uh, the teenagers who were disappeared in Ayotzinapan and migration, I will look at these objects and I will change some of them to go more close to what I'm working on. So what I did, based on the topics that I'm working, migration and Los Desaparecidos, I come out with a very similar list. It's almost the same, but instead of rock, I put border. Instead of bird, I put butterfly. I keep the flower and I keep the fish. And then instead of hat, I put a basket, but because the, one of the, the um, cantos, songs of the desaparecidos say, um, and I remember that um, it was very popular phrase during that protest in Mexico. Quisieron enterrarnos, pero no sabían que éramos semillas. All right? They want to bury, bury us, but they didn't know that we were seeds. Right? So in my last object is seeds. So in that way, I have a kind of a structure 
that have elements of the topics that I'm working, right? The iconographies, the ideographies of border and butterflies, that is migration, flowers, fish, that is the water, basket, and seeds in, in the connection with the desaparecidos de Ayotzinapa. So now my movement, it will have another, another uh, texture and another input because now I'm working with a purpose, with intention, and I am in day one of exploration. So I will like that you take a 30 seconds to think in a topic or, or some project that you're working and what image or your process, or your, sorry, of your project or your work, what image is this um, iconical or uh, meaningful for you to use I wish we can have more communication so we can share all, uh, that and to know more about your projects. And if you want to explore more, for example, I know that a friend of mine is working on um, women's at what is age. So what it will be. Um, so you can use your chat and you want to share what, what elements now you are changing in order to accommodate your work, your project into this exercise, movement exercise that you can do every morning. All right? So I give you 30 seconds and, and I will continue. I will create the border with the seeds. While you're doing that, I will take my place. Also, but by putting the border here, I'm kind of, um, reaffirming that this exercise is not limited to to just catch an apple or a ball or but you can catch everything you can receive everything is your imagination is actually i want to take advantage also this time that my work is based on tadashi suzuki from japan and um, that is my technique uh, jersey grotowski from poland but especially uh, rituals from mexico as my foundations, and I want to appreciate those um, cre creative ancestors and a lot of people that I've been working with that um, are helping me to develop these exercises and these processes. So, um, all right, so I think that is time for me to uh, go and do a little bit of exploration that how is going to be the border instead of rock, butterfly, instead of bird, and seeds, instead of hat. So it's probably is going to bring me to the poem of Quisieron enterrarnos, pero no sabían que éramos semilla, semillas. So I'm going to explore that. I will do it in two minutes and then we come back. So I was telling you that the sculpture is eight seconds and it can be in the middle of that moment of receiving and giving, but not, not the last one. I would recommend it. Put it in the middle. Get more, more, yeah. get more, in, uh, we say, eh, empapado con el trabajo creativo. Not with the ending, but with the core of your movement. So here we go. Um, I will change, try to focus on that. And I will, I will, uh, I wish I can put music today. I will put um, Amanecer in Tenochtitlan, that is a music, uh, a indigenous music from Mexico. But I will put Imagining that music. Quisieron enterrarnos, quisieron enterrar. 
Quisieron enterrarnos, quisieron aterrar, quisieron aterrarnos, quisieron aterrar, quisieron enterrarnos, quisieron aterrar, aterrar, pero no sabían que éramos semillas. de un pueblo llamado Ayotzinapan. So that's my exploration with the topic and including by including the new elements, it changed completely. So I start to use the poem. I changed the song um, lyrics of Espíritu del Agua, Espíritu Burlón, to the poem. Quisieron enterrarnos. So I'm, I can do everything. But what I'm offering to you, today to you was structure. And it's when is when I am finding freedom. Is when I'm free. I am free. When I have this um, the kind of is like the borders of a river that give form and power to the river. That's the structure for me. And it's movement and it's fun and is is um is is discovering and and creativity um i i want to um just to take um a minute to to breathe back inhale exhale Inhale, exhale, right hand, left hand, inhale, to the side, exhale. Last time, hands together. 
I mean this way. Hmm? And X. Thank you very much. Um, we are um, closing and I want to say thank you again um, for us being there and doing it and also to Pangea and to Artu Action and all the, um, everybody on the team that is working behind the screen. Thank you very much. Thank you. On behalf of Arts Action and Pangea, I hope you all join me in applauso para Dora Arreola and that incredible workshop and teaching of both um, uh, warm up, uh, grounding, uh, creative process, devising, and um, so much wisdom and beauty shared in that. Thank you so much to Dora and to everyone. Um, we're gonna close out, but encourage you to go uh, to stay with us for the rest of the day and join us for the next session, which you're seeing on your screen right now. Um, please join us for the next session starting soon. A masterclass with Sharon Bridgeforth um, will continue the devising um, process, including some writing prompts and, a, and another approach. So we hope that this whole um, process and experience with us this weekend at the National Institute for directing an ensemble creation uh, with um, HowlRound, thank you so much, is uh, giving you tools and creative practices and new approaches to creating your work and thinking about uh, the creation process, as well as the issues that we're discussing in the panels today and tomorrow. Um, also wanna shout out that there's an open mic tonight and we wanna say thank you to our funders. I'll go off screen so you can see them. Thank you to funders and partners and to all who make this work possible. And uh, if you would like to support um, Art to Action and Pangea World Theater, we're both celebrating birthdays and anniversaries this year, um, Pangea and uh, Art to Action and a long and fruitful partnership. So we hope you'll join us. Hope to see you again soon for the next session. Thanks so much. <laughs>